Monday, June 28. Tomorrow, the cabinet is expected to appoint Kun Anand Panjarajun and Dr. Prawet Basi as not co-chairman as such, but one is the head of the so-called reform committee. Yes. The other, Dr. Prawet, is going to head the so-called assembly yes. for reform. Mm -hmm. I'm not too clear how the two bodies are going to work together, but the two, what I would call the two wise men of the country, yeah. will have to work things out between themselves and tell the rest of the country. Right. Um, actually, it's not that clear to uh, everyone in this country. <laughs> it, uh, a lot of it will depend on what Kun Anand and Kun Prabhupada will come up with yes. after their appointment. Yes. But um, basically, the uh, Kun Anand committee will function as a uh, like a government, uh, whereas Dr. Barwet, um, uh panel will will be more engaging with the uh, uh, social groups. Ah, uh, so uh, can I say that Kun Anand will head the cabinet, and more Barwet, Dr. Barwet will head the parliament. Yes, uh, essentially. Uh, yeah, yeah. At, at this at this point, it looks like that. Uh -huh. like that. So the reform part of the. Prime Minister's Apitis plan uh, aims to, I'm not sure whether he just wants a blueprint before he calls an election, or uh, does he plan to really see some implementation before the new government comes in? Um, from what we heard, this uh, the government will use the Prime Minister Office regulation to set up this mechanism. Which means? Which means that this uh, the so-called mechanism mm -hmm. of reform will be functioning beyond the channel of this government. Uh, it doesn't go uh, uh, die with uh, the end of the government's time. Yes. So on one hand, the Prime Minister is saying that he wants to give a blueprint mm -hmm. to the Thai people as a New Year gift. Yes. But on the other hand, he is using um, appointment method that could prolong this uh, the, the turner of this uh, committee. But the Prime Minister said uh, on Sunday mm -hmm. that it's going to be a three-year term for the committees. Uh, the, the overall process is going gonna, is gonna to last at least three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which make it, uh, which, which make the Prime Minister initial offer to the Red Shirt to hold an election on November 14 look like a sweetheart deal at the moment. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. So do you think the Red Shirt should accept the your whole you know, of course they they, they should they should at least they should pretend to cooperate with the what government. What do you mean by pretending to cooperate? Um, uh, if the the ultimate goal is to have an early election yes. or the election that can take place as soon as possible, yes. they should cooperate with uh, at least pretend to cooperate uh -huh. so so as to hasten the uh, the election date. Ah, so that uh, they have the reason to tell the prime minister that okay, we accept that everything so is okay. speed up, it's ready, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, you think, uh, because I saw somewhere that Foreign Minister Kasipiram was in Europe last week. He talked about an election in uh, spring. Yeah, spring in mm -hmm. Europe would be early next year. Yes. And then a new government uh, by the middle of next year. Mm -hmm. But I haven't heard that from the Prime Minister yet. Right. Uh, the, last, the last time we, were, we heard from Kunafisit was that he didn't say such a thing. Mm -hmm. He just mm -hmm. said it was possible. That an election early election place. is possible, but yes. it doesn't mean, doesn't mean no. early election would be held soon, <laughs> yes. depending yes. on his interpretation. Mm -hmm. But you are quite sure that the Annan and Prawet uh, committees will be in place after tomorrow and will give us a New Year's gift uh, in the form of a blueprint by New Year's? Um, it, it, it will take a lot of uh, uh, lobbying and 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 uh, you know uh, inv invitation mm -hmm. to 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 engage uh, so many social groups. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think Kun Kun Brawet has the uh, capacity to 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 do that. Well, I think Kun Brawet and Kun Anand already have his networks in place anyway. Mm -hmm. So it won't be too long after the official appointment is made. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, these two committees already are quite confusing. Now, not to mention Kun Kanit Nanakorn's committee, which right. is the so-called Truth and Reconciliation and he, and, Committee. And Kun, Kun Kanit hasn't, have, uh, hasn't had the, the membership of his committee. Yet. Not yet. Not yet.
because you have to name uh, 10 people. It's not easy to invite anyone to join. Mm -hmm. Anyone in this right mind will have to think <laughs> twice. <laughs> so, um, yes, um, it's, it's going to get quite um, more and more boring, this issue. <laughs> uh, the committee, the, the name of the candidates, and, and how, well, how, how many subcommittees uh, they're going to have. Well, you say boring, yeah. I say important. Important, yes, so. of course. So, but <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, every important move from now on will be quite boring, but we have to put up with it. Otherwise, a lot of problems will never be resolved.